I'm about to make the most ambitious painting of my entire life. Hi, I'm Ten Hundred. I'm an artist. In the past, people have commissioned me to recreate famous paintings in my style. But this time, I'm going big. I'm remaking Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper in my style. In part one of this series, I dove into the research. I did a deep dive into the original and learned everything I could about the artist, the piece, and the history of the painting. Now, in that last video, I had an idea to paint all the disciples as some of my favorite YouTubers. But you guys didn't like that idea. Judging by the comments, the majority of people dislike the idea of using YouTubers as the disciples. Okay, guys, fine. Fine. Well, now, I have a new idea. An idea that may take each of you down some interesting rabbit holes and turn you all into digital detectives. You see, I'd like to play a little game. In this series of videos, and in the actual painting itself, I've painstakingly hidden a series of codes, riddles, and challenges. You'll need to pay very close attention to every detail and look beneath the surface to find the answers. You may want to come together as a community to solve every code. The subreddit r slash 100 might be a good place for that. At the end of this elaborate scavenger hunt, one lucky detective will get the grand prize of getting the original six-foot painting of my version version of The Last Supper. So, happy hunting. The game starts now. All right, so I am just about to go and build this crazy panel so that I can start my recreation of The Last Supper. The only problem is whenever I build something, it turns out like 10% janky. I'm not the best builder. So I brought in the professionals. Hey. <laughs> this is my friend Austin. You might remember him from the doghouse building video. He's an awesome woodworker. Usually when I build stuff, it's only 5% janky, so I'll make it 5% better. <laughs> All right, Austin, my friend. Should we go to Home Depot? Let's do it. Salute! <laughs> Where to, Mr. Robinson? Yes, Jeevesy, old boy. Take me to a fine purveyor of wood and building materials. Straight away! Right away, sir. All right, I'm getting in the front. This is weird. <laughs> this is my bathroom. Where to, Mr. Redbud? That way. I thought this was just for the video, but he's really staying on there. Yeah, so we just want to check all the edges to make sure it's not delaminating. See, this is why you bring the professional. <laughs> Gotta find the good pieces. Look at that inspector. <laughs> One good piece secured. Two secured. Not good enough for 10 hundred. Oh, we got four. If we find number five, you gotta subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to my channel. Yeah. We got five out of five, baby. Let's go, let's go. Drop a like on this video right now. We got five. We have secured the wood. Let's go. All right, you guys, it's finally time to slap this panel together. You ready? I was born ready. I feel like if I mess this up, Da Vinci will come out of his grave and haunt me. We only have one piece of wood, so if we cut things wrong, we're screwed. Booze it! Booze it! Booze it! Booze it! Da Vinci would be proud. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. What's going on? <laughs> we're actually an inch short on this side. My fence on my table saw wasn't locked completely. The fence was sliding off to the side. Bro, if he messes this one up again, I'm just gonna have to find some other awesome local woodworker architect who's also willing to help me for free. Can you please put that down and give me some help? Okay, sorry bro. All right, bud, yeah, you're doing good. Yep, okay, straight line, very nice. Maybe I should just go back to the air guitar. <laughs> okay. Five and five eighths. Come on, come on. Big money, big money, no whammy. Oh, dang it. Just kidding. 35 and 5 eighths. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your leaf blower here, aim it at the piece of wood, pull the trigger, and boom. All right, dude, it officially kind of looks like a frame. I think we should do just a little bit of cross bracing. Yeah. I think I'm just a better squeezer than you are. Oh, that feels solid, dude. Yeah, that's a lot better. Hex, yeah, boy. Hell yeah, dude, we did it. We did it? Oh, hell yeah, dude, you <laughs> did it. <laughs> you guys definitely go over to Austin's channel. It's called Red Bud Builds. He's making all kinds of sweet videos. Way more complex stuff than this freaking panel. Link to his channel is down in the description. Thank you so much, bro. Yeah, dude, thank you. I'm so excited that you're gonna give it to me after you're done with it, too. You might get a print. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, it's time for me to start working on my concept art. I'm gonna use a little method I like to call trace, replace, erase. I'm gonna fully trace out the original Last Supper. Then I'm gonna replace that by putting my characters over the top of that line art. Then I'm gonna erase the original. So, got my trusty iPad Pro. Let's get sketching. Going into it, I thought this part of the process might be a little bit boring, and you watching might even think this is a bit unnecessary. But let me tell you, zooming in super close to Leonardo's masterpiece and recreating those lines gave me such a more intimate understanding of this piece, even though I've been researching it for weeks. Okay, I finished tracing Mr. Da Vinci's original masterpiece, and it looks a little something like this. And now I'm super excited to start turning this thing into a 10 hundredified piece of art. But first, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. After these messages, we'll be right back. How's things going, Larry, old boy? Yeah, you know, Steve, I've been trying to learn some art skills, but the learning just seems to be so slow. Not to mention, it's hard for me to hold a paintbrush with these tiny turtle claws. Oh, listen, buddy, buddy, you gotta check out Skillshare. Skillshare? Yeah, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. They have classes on drawing, painting, digital art, Photoshop, filmmaking, and a whole lot more. Jiminy Cricket, Steve. Skillshare sounds amazing. Oh, Larry, you bet your britches it is. They have this one class, Character Illustration, drawing faces, figures, and clothing by Gabriel Piccolo. He can definitely level up your art skills. Holy shit, Steve, that sounds <laughs> great. Tell me some more. Okay, okay, calm down, Larry. Listen, Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes. Plus, I heard this YouTuber, 1000, has a link in his description and the first thousand people to click the link get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. I'm literally about to shit my pants right now, Steve. Skillshare, baby! Skillshare! Skillshare! Okay, now it's time for the moment that I've been most anxiously anticipating. It's time for me to finally start turning this into my own version of The Last Supper. Now, based on all the ideas of how many hidden codes and secrets I wanna hide in this piece, this is probably gonna be the most complex and pre-planned and well thought out piece I've ever made. So this sketch is gonna be no easy task, but I'm very excited to jump in. So here we go. This sketch is coming incredibly slow. Every detail I create in this piece has to be thought over painstakingly. A lot of times when I make a concept or a piece of art, I'll include things that randomly pop into my head. Maybe it's a piece of inspiration from my day-to-day -day life, from a story I'm listening to, or just something that zaps in there from out of nowhere that I can't pinpoint. But on this one, I either need it to be a part of the surface level story, a clue or a riddle to guide the hunters towards the final destination, or something thrown in there to intentionally misdirect the folks trying to solve my code. All of that adds up to a lot of mental gymnastics when trying to create this piece of art and simultaneously have it look cool and have it be a nice piece of art in the end. Okay, I think that's as far as I'm gonna take the sketch in this video. My sketch looks a little something like this so far. There's still a lot more intricate details and hidden messages I need to plan out and draw for this sketch. In the meantime, there's already a lot of clues for you detectives to decipher in this video. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Have you guys seen any already? Anyway, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. You know you want to. Thank you so, so much to my patrons. You guys, your support means the world to me. You make videos like these possible. Hey, listen, drop a saucy comment down there. I'm gonna find my favorite one. I'm gonna pin it. And the comment is actually gonna be worked into <laughs> this painting that I'm doing. Your comment will be worked in there somehow. Listen, good luck to all you detectives. I wonder who's gonna win the final painting. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this unfold. Who betrayed the heron? I'm 10 hundred. Don't take everything you see at face value. Look beneath the surface, work together, and dig deep. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, baby. Last supper time, last, last supper time.
Jiminy Crickets, Larry. <laughs> 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 and we 